Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about mechanics and rhythm. Now, you're gonna notice this athlete. We started out a training session. He came in for some private training. We were looking at kind of a half turn and we're gonna look at angles and positions and where do we put the feet and we're trying to teach him the high point because you're gonna notice as he throws, there's a disconnect. He's too active with the upper body and the lower body just like it's slow and, and is lagging behind. As we started to break down technical points and having a move and think, what happened? You're gonna notice there's not a lot of spin on the discus, it's fluttering out, there's no sling, and it's kind of just really segmented. That kind of led us to what are we dealing with and we could see his problems. So what did we do on day two? We started pointing out those key movement issues. He was dropping. He's very segmented throughout the throw. So what we had to do is take a step back and really kind of simplify movement. And now that he has the basic understandings and really just focus on flow. And that's a really important thing. And that's something we talk about extensively inside the throwing chain reaction system that you have to drill and then you have to flow. So you have to be mechanical, then you have to be rhythmical. You have to apply everything. He started to kind of feel some things. We changed up. We talked about his pillar one. We talked about hip movement but now we we're talking about keeping the whole thing moving and so as he started to do that you're noticing big big difference there that was by the end of that second day we're really seeing him start to pull and sling the discus that was a lot better though that was much better so we started out with the third day picking up right where we left off and immediately looking at how he's moving and flowing. We're simplifying, we're dumping the mechanics out of his head and we're just putting together connection, rhythm, timing, and flowing with maybe one technical cue. And this is really important. So you're gonna see how I'm having a move. I'm talking about the rhythm of the throw, the length, and you really start to see a big difference and he's getting closer and closer. And the movement as a whole from day one to day three was just massive and the sling on the discus was starting to change immensely. Now this young guy is just going to be a freshman in high school. So he's still a young pup and he's learning how to move his body. So you're going to see that he makes a big change. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now you know you're doing it. Look at that. Hey. Nice Booyah. Yes, sir. Yeah. See? Yeah, nice work. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Look at that. Whoa. Boom! Look at video day one to day three, and you're gonna see that even by the end of day two, big difference, improvement, but we just kind of worked here. You see that we had what we call as a step-step throw. So watch as he goes through, you're gonna see the sweep leg action is something that we had to work on, and by doing our step-step throw drill, we were able to kind of show him how to keep the long, wider motion that helped him move throughout the throw, and that resulted in a big change in just a matter of a few training sessions, and that's a really important tip that sometimes you just got to focus on the rhythm of the throw and dump out some of the mechanics, simplify and work to keep the throw moving. And that will help a lot of young athletes and many athletes succeed much faster. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and we will see you on the next video. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into what we do with the throwing chain reaction system. If you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential, click the link below and we will see you on the next video.